Grumble Pop? Rent. Yeah, yeah, as soon as I get my study grant. That'd be right. The only way I can get me taxes back is by having you hanging around the house, clogging up me razor with your leg hair. <laughs> my leg hair? I've got my own razor. Certainly not mine, young lady. Oh, hang on. I forgot the cat. Don't tell me you were the one that shaved Madge Burrow's cat. Wouldn't it be me? I love that bloody cat. <laughs> anyway, with her money, she can afford to buy out a fur coat. <laughs> G'day, Darcy. Minnie the Spice Mouse, greetings from the wisdom of the wilderness. And Grumble One Kenobi, captain of the mega chair. Well, good day, Darcy. What do you want? Ask not what I want, white man, but ask what you want and how I can obtain same. This isn't one of those brain teasers like what colour is the bear. Mm. <laughs> what you want is a warm, cuddly, furry friend. I've already got a pair of Ugg boots. Ah. <laughs> this is better than Ugg boots. It's a puppy. Great idea. Well, I don't want a dog. I've got two of them hanging on the wall over there. It'd be good for you to have something that doesn't think you're a dill. Oh, I'm not a dill. Don't say that too loud in front of the dog. You might start thinking about it. It'll only be for a few days until I find his owner. Oh, I'll put an ad in the paper. I'd look after him myself, but you know me. If I can lose a garden shed, I can lose a puppy. <laughs> no, I don't want it. Oh, come on, Grumble Pop. Can't we have a puppy? No. Oh, Please, pretty please, just for me. I'll make you some Milo and mash up your banana. I tell you what, I'll split the reward with you. How much? One of us gets all of it and the other gets the rest of it right down the middle. <laughs> Done. Last year's village holiday to Bosnia, Herzegovina wasn't everything the brochure promised. God knows what would have happened to us without the peacekeeping forces. I love the tank ride, feeling the cannon between my knees, and all those boys in blue berets showing me their bazookas. <laughs> I love the smell of Bosnians in the morning. <laughs> yes, good, Joan. Calm down. I, for one, am fed up with visiting war zones and famines. They're cheap. It's not the point. Why don't we go somewhere where, where normal people have holidays? I, I'm sick of having to fight half a dozen agro-native women for a bit of singed parrot wing or a squashed squirrel. Oh. There's always New Zealand again. Oh, God. A group of people from Royal Oaks Retirement Village are taking a four-wheel drive convoy around Australia for their holiday. But then they always do things better than us. That's it. We'll beat them with their own game. Can I borrow your phone, Samantha? Help yourself. What's the caper, Jono? Careful, everyone. Jono's got that look on his face. What look? It means he's just had a great idea, or he's about to blow off. Muriel! <laughs> Harold! Yeah, uh, Jono Johnston, Whispering Pines. Yeah, yeah we, we met at the bowls tournament. Yes, I know Royal Oaks won 37 nil. <laughs> Listen, I believe you're taking... A four-wheel drive convoy around Australia. Where are you going? Interested in a, a bit of a competition? Right. 500 bucks says we'll beat you back. <laughs> Done! <laughs> Problem solved, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to race around Australia. <laughs> More bells. Has the world gone mad? Oh, get it. Me mouse. Okay, Ted, stand by for a fun puppy experience. <laughs> his bed, his rubber bone, his ball, and his food. But where's he? <laughs> Come on, little fella. You'll be right. Come and meet your new daddy. Okay, Ted, oh, meet Ty. And his grandmother is huge. He's gorgeous. <laughs> Hello, Ty. Make yourself at home. Oi, chair, chair, chair. That's, that's my chair. All right. It's your chair. Excuse me, Samantha. I cannot wait, Muriel. I'm frantic. I've got to finish the monthly report and fax it to head office in half an hour. It's just a silly old report. There is no such thing as a silly old report in the Pines Corporation, especially when it's to do with yet another mysterious passing in Villa 39. Another one? Yes, Muriel. That was quick. 
The Grace Brothers cartons are still in his carport. <laughs> yes, tragic. Now, I really have It's to... about the birthday roster for tomorrow. Yes, yes. You're on it. So I am. Happy birthday to me. Now, I really need... You share a birthday with Madge Burrows. And Frank Sinatra. And Alexander the Great and Charles Dickens, I know. We were wondering if you'll be going out for a nice night with Damien. No, I'll be staying in. Because I don't have a Damien. I haven't had a Damien for months. Damien dumped me for a cappuccino waitress. Oh dear. Always the dumpy, never the dumper. Still, in everyone's life, there's a Mr. Right. Jono Johnston is your Mr. Wright? No, I married Jono. I met Mr. Wright as we were leaving the church. He was our driver. When our eyes met in the rear vision mirror, there was electricity between us. I knew it and he knew it, and I said to myself, Muriel, you've just stuffed up the rest of your life. Good, Muriel. Now, I really have to finish... Okay, okay. But just so you know, Cook's going to do a cake for you and Madge tomorrow. How touching. Now get out, please. <laughs> Bye. Samantha McDonald, how may I help you? But I'm doing the report now, Mr. Lee. It's just that I keep getting interrupted. Well, I was told five o'clock and that's when I'll fax it. Yes, definitely. Goodbye. Who the hell is it now? Go away! All right, come in and ruin my career, you... Samantha McDonald? Why, yes. Who are you? Uh, Sean Burrows. I was looking for my aunt. <laughs> Sean Burrows. Madge Burrows, your... Madge Burrows... Aunt? Yes. Uh, no. no, she's my... It's her birthday tomorrow and I was bringing her these... for you. Thank you. <laughs> I know you. I know you too. But how do I know you? I feel so comfortable, so intimate. So connected. Uh, are we married? This is amazing. Yes! Yes! Uh, how is my aunt? She's well. Mm -hmm. She has a lot of trouble with her cat. Oh, <laughs> yes, I heard. It's cruel to persecute small, furry animals. Yes! Yes! Small furry animals should be loved and loved! Come on, Tiny. See? A lovely chop. A cute little woolly spring lamb fought and died so you could have this chop. <laughs> Bloody dog. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Let's rush outside and play Eat Madge Burrow's Cat. That'll be lots of fun. <laughs> you bloody dog. Evening, Grumblepop. Hello, Tiny. How are you? Did you have a rough day with Grumble Pop? Did you let him out to go toily? I can't get him out of my chair. Hate you, dog. I mean, who pays the rates around here? Dogs don't pay rates, especially lost ones. There you go. Right on time. What do you want now? The Kingswood? You're not taking the Kingswood. I just scraped Garfield off the grill. Sorry, Tiny. What do you want now? He wants to watch Home and Away. I hate Home and Away. See, he really loves Home and Away. Let him watch it. Listen, this is my house and my TV, uh, and I'm not watching Home and Away, and that's fine. <laughs> All right, have it your own way. Bloody dogs, bums. <laughs> Why don't they wear pants when they're watching TV? <laughs> Is he here? Is it safe to come in? Oh, you're right, Jono. Yeah, he's taking Terry for a walk. Someone should blow Rottweilers up. <laughs> I wouldn't say that in front of him. You ever watch Home and Away, Jono? No. Oh, it sort of grows on you after a while when you've got no choice. <laughs> that Alf's a top bloke. <laughs> Listen, Ted, uh, about that bet with Harold and those Royal Oaks wankers, yeah, maybe we should just give him the five hundred dollars now, eh? So you give me, give me your half. Strike me dead! You made the bet. I know, I blundered. I mean, think about it. How can my eighty-five Fairmont beat a bunch of state-of-the-art Land Cruisers round Australia? I told you to buy a Kingswood, make a man of you. <laughs> okay, we'll take your car. 
The Kingswood? You're not taking the Kingswood. I just engraved Brocky's signature on the boot. Oh, there you go. Stuffed. Oh, but it would have been great, eh? Out there on the open road. Free to go wherever you want. No more separating the bottles from the newspapers every Wednesday night. Damn, forgot the garbage again. We're just wasting the rest of our lives sitting around here. You're right, Jono. We're Aussie blokes. We belong out there in the bush. You're right. Let's go helicopter mustering. Now you can. I'll stay in the combi van with Muriel. On second thoughts, maybe I will go helicopter mustering. But not to me. Muriel, I was just saying how much I'd like to go camping with you in a combi van. No, you weren't. We'll talk about that later. Ted, sign this. Well, what is it? It's Madge and Samantha's birthday today. Remember the cake? Oh, yeah, right, eh? And you, Jono. Oh, very well. Although I don't know why I'm saying happy birthday to a mad old woman who's going to leave all her money to a cat. She loves that bloody cat. <laughs> don't think of it, I haven't seen it today. Well, don't look at me, I haven't seen it either. It definitely wouldn't be in my washing machine. <laughs> what came over me. It was like a lightning bolt between two people. A lightning bolt? I've never heard it described as that. Although I did have a boyfriend called Rodney with a premature problem I used to call Lightning Rod. <laughs> I mean, ten seconds, we both look at each other and suddenly we both know it's, it's inevitable and nothing can stop the passion. It's, it's scary. Oh, nothing is scary. Life's an adventure to be seized by both hands and fondled. <laughs> He's rung me every hour since yesterday, and I don't know anything about him except he loves me and I love him. Am I being silly? Of course not, Samantha, darling. Silly is staying in a rut when you should be out there rotting. <laughs> knock, knock, cooey. Muriel, happy birthday from all of us. Oh, thank you. We're sorry we can't be with you on your special day, but we forgot our theatre party. Oh, thank you, Muriel. It's lovely. Oh, it's green icing flowing down. Yes, someone left the cake out in the rain. <laughs> Ooh, that song finally makes sense to me. You better go, Joan. Our special theatre night. Oh, already. Now, don't forget a thing, Samantha, darling. I want to hear every juicy detail. I'll see you out. What show are you going to see? Um, I forget, but it comes highly recommended. Happy birthday, Samantha. Happy, oh, birthday. Yes. Oh, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday, everybody. Yeah. Darcy, do you remember to put petrol in the bus this time? No problema. Petrol, tick. Oil, tick. Aliens out from under the back seat, tick. <laughs> All systems go. OK, everybody, on the bus and have a lovely evening. Oh, thank you. Good night. Good night, Samantha. OK, Good night. let's kick the tyre and light the fire. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Samantha McDon... Sean, I knew it was you. What are you doing? Thinking about me? <laughs> me? I'm thinking about you, silly. <laughs> I will too. Lots. Stop it. No, I'm rusted on here. I wish I could see you. What do you mean? Turn around. <laughs> Sean! Samantha! They're at the theatre. I saw them go. I don't know anything about you. Well, there's nothing much to tell, really. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> I want to. I sell motorbikes. Motorbikes? Mm -hmm. How fascinating. Yeah, top of the range stuff. Uh, BMs, Harleys. I love Harleys. Yeah. I wish more people would. And the banks can take the last two bikes. Oh, that's sad. I'll make it better for you. <laughs> Samantha. Oh, darling Sean. What's better, a BMW or a Harley? Well, the Harley is the belt drive, whereas the BM is a solid drive shot aft. Pickle me, grandmother! Oh, hi, let me through! Ooh, yes, now that's my idea.
have a theater party. Look. I've been thinking, Ted. Why don't we flog the cars, pull our resources, buy a second-hand land cruiser and a couple of tents and take off? What would be the toilet arrangements? Well, we're blokes. We just go behind a tree. It's uh, part of the fun trying to fill up the ant hole. Oh, I'm not going behind a tree with ants. Are you coming with us? Yes. Oh, well, let's knock that on the head. Well, why don't we all go? We could always rent our villas out. Thrust Film Productions are always asking to use my bedroom as a location. Ant! Late breaking bad news. What's going on? Your remote control for the TV. Someone stole it? No, Call no, the cops. No, the cat. Someone stole the cat? No, the cat trod on the remote control. What are you talking about, Darcy? Oh, hold on. I'm putting all the bits together. <laughs> OK, now here comes the big picture. Is this one of those games that starts out confusing and then we all end up in bed with a marrow? No! <laughs> Damn, I like those games. Get on with it, Darcy, from the start. OK, OK. Now, rewinding. I'm in Ted's villa, feeding Tiny and, and putting on a home and away tape, and, and, and I hear the cat. Uh-oh. What cat? Madge Burroughs' cat. It, it was in Ted's washing machine. How did it get there? Wouldn't have been me. I love that bloody cat. So, <laughs> I, I, I open the door and the, and, the, and the cat rushes out into the living room and gets a bit of a fright when it spots Tiny. But that would have been all right because he was watching Home and Away. <gasps> well reasoned, Sir Jono, but you're forgetting the sudden Rottweiler effect on an already jumpy cat. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Cat screamed, jumped in the air, and lands on the remote control. Suddenly, no more home and away. Oh, oh. And he ate the cat. What? <laughs> the dog ate the cat. I saw it. It was amazing. It was, it was like a, a snake swallowing a furry egg. Mm. <laughs> All that was left was the collar and the bell. He loved that bloody cat. <laughs> Pickle me, grandmother. Darcy, I just saw an ambulance rushing out of the village. Oh, yeah, right. I, I, I forgot that bit. Well, I bore blonde to one. You did see an ambulance, but I wasn't rushing. You called it ambulance for the cat? What cat? Exactly. There is no cat. <laughs> and that's what did it for Madge. Madge Burrows? Mm. Oh, well, I, I took her the, 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 the collar and the bell and a bunch of flowers and I said, good day, Madge, your cat's dead. <laughs> and then... <laughs> <sighs> Shock, I suppose. Madge Burrows is... Has left the village. Right, so... Whew, what a day. What's for lunch? <laughs> been a naughty dog. Tiny has. Now, Darcy's tracked down your owner and he's coming to pick you up any minute, OK? If you don't say anything about Madge Burrow's cat, I won't. Ah, oh, g'day. I'm looking for a dog called Tiny. Is this the place? You? You own Tiny? Yeah. Come in. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny, come, Tiny, come, 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 mate, come. Good boy, I thought you'd forgotten me there for a minute. No wonder he loves home and away. <laughs> oh, he doesn't have much choice. If he wants to eat regularly, he watches home and away. <laughs> well, he's certainly been eating here. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for looking after him anyway. We'd better head back to Summer Bay. Come on, boy. Bye-bye. <laughs> We belong together. <laughs> These are from all of us. Good luck and God bless. Thank you, Bert. Thank you, everyone. You won't forget us, will you? No. No chance of me ever forgetting you, Lot. <laughs> oh, put your bags in the taxi. Where are you going? Paris first. To get married, isn't it romantic? 
And I thought we might spend some time in Italy and pick up a Ferrari. And one for me. And then come back here. <laughs> now, fate's a funny old thing, isn't it? Aunt Madge left her money to the cat, but the cat got eaten by the dog, so the money came to me. Aren't I lucky? I'm the lucky one. Come on. OK. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Oh, by the way, what, what, what did you do with the motorcycle business? Oh, I closed it down. Yeah, you got rid of the last two bikes cheap this morning. Who too? <laughs> Righto, Muriel. Stand by for the adventure of a lifetime. Standing by, Jono. Ready for blast off. Yeah, we'll show those wankers from Royal Oaks who's going to get round Australia the fastest. <laughs> Ready, Ted? Ready when you are, Jono. Let's burn some rubber! <laughs> Hang on tight, Teddy, darling. I'm going to give you the ride of your life. <laughs>